Next year, I'm taking a long walk, retracing our ancestors' first great migration across the planet, starting in our birthplace, the Rift Valley of East Africa, and walking north through the Levant, and then eastward across the gravel plains of Asia to Arctic Siberia, from where I'll hop a boat to the Americas and ramble down the western flank to Patagonia, the last corner of the world where our ancestors ran out of horizon. I'm a journalist, and I'm trying really hard to return to a more human pace of storytelling, not just jetting in and out of assignments, but walking with people, digging deep into crucial stories that we miss because we're all moving too fast to listen. I'm as worried as anyone about the troubles we face in the century ahead. Climate change, resource shortages, mass migrations, war. But our ancestors also overcame huge obstacles in their primal journey across the world. Whether it was ice ages or massive epidemics or famines, my long journey will be difficult. And I'm not so naive to believe that the world can't kill you in an instant. It can. But in my experience, when you slow down, people tend to open up to you. The world, it, it's home after all.